Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Coachup Academy and today we are going to learn about pedigree analysis. So what is pedigree analysis? So pedigree analysis ki baat kare, hum isko simply define karte hain the analysis of diagrammatic records of inheritance of particular traits over two or more generations in a family tree is called pedigree analysis. Again, we just recall the definition. So, what exactly it is? So, we will define the pedigree analysis. Ko, the analysis of diagrammatic records of inheritance of particular traits over two or more generations in a family tree is called pedigree analysis. So, pedigree analysis exactly, we have used that to just find out the inheritance pattern in case of human being. In human beings, we simply uh, easily we study nahi kar sakte. Researchers ke liye a bit quite cumbersome process thi. So what did they do? They just draw a probability diagram and then they analyze that particular diagram. So that is only called as the pedigree analysis. So they used all the symbols. Use so we are just go through with those symbols. What exactly those symbols are? So here, the square is a very symbol which we are using for indicating the male. Whereas the circle one is used for indicating the female. The diamond, diamond is here for indicating the unspecified sex, whereas these are the shaded one are used for indicating the affected individuals. Whereas the single line between the male and the female shows the mating between them, or the another one, the double line between the male and the females shows the mating between relatives, which is also called as consensus mating. is also called as consensus mating. So please remember again we just recall the symbols square for the male, circle for the female, diamond for unspecified sex, shaded one for the affected individuals, single line shows the mating between them whereas the two lines shows the mating between the close relatives which is also called as consensus mating. Here now the most important part that here we just uh, studied some tricks by which we can easily understand this. So what these tricks are? So in that the very first trick is when both the parents are unaffected. Dono parents are unaffected hai, unme particular character express nahi hua hai. But that character will be expressed in the children. That means when both the parents are unaffected but that particular character is expressed in the children. So that is ye diagram dekhit with this both the parents are unaffected but the children is affected. So in this case, this female or this mother will be the carrier for this character. And this is for sure that this will be the recessive trick. So this is the very first trick which we have studied that when both the parents are unaffected but the children are affected, then in that case the mother will be the carrier and that character will be the recessive trick. The second trick is that when the characters are passed from male to male, that is from father to son. In this case, if we go see, so here we the male is the affected one, and in the next generation, the children is also the male is affected. So this case indicates that this particular trait is violent trait. That means for the expression of this character, the genes which are responsible are present on the Y chromosome. The very next trick is that from single parent. From single parent means I am using here that any of the two parents, anyone, either male or the female parent, when they are affected and in the next generation only female is affected. Out of the two parents, the male or the female, in the next generation only female child is affected. Then in that case the particular trait will be the dominant. So the trait kya hogi? Dominant hogi. It may be autosomal or sex linked, that doesn't matter right now, we will examples karenge, tab discuss karenge. but it can be autosomal or it can be sex linked, but the trait will be dominant one. The very next trick and the important one is that crisscross inheritance. When the inheritance pattern shows the crisscross inheritance, what this crisscross inheritance is, that is ki characters are passes from male to female, then again male or we can say from female to male and then female. So, if 
कैरेक्टर्स ट्रांसमिट हो रहे हैं ट्रांसफर हो रहे हैं तो इन दैट केस इन दो टाइप ऑफ द केसेस वी डायरेक्टली कंक्लूड दैट दैट विल बी अ सेक्स लिंक्ड रेसेसिव कैरेक्टर दैट विल बी अ सेक्स लिंक्ड रेसेसिव कैरेक्टर तो अगेन वी जस्ट कॉल आर ट्रिक्स देन वी विल गो इनटू द सम एग्जांपल द वेरी फर्स्ट हम लोगों ने पढ़ा व्हेन बोथ द पेरेंट्स आर अनअफेक्टेड बट चाइल्ड आर अफेक्टेड देन इन दैट केस हम लोगों ने कहा द मदर विल बी द कैरियर and that trait will be the recessive one here it is clearly trick it second agar characters are transferred from male to male then it will be wiling where is the third ki hum logo ne kaha when the characters are passes from or the from a single parent from the single affected parent in the next generation only female child is affected then that will be the dominant character it can be autosomal or sex linked but it will be dominant always and the last important one we have read if they are showing the criss cross inheritance that means characters are passing from male to female then male or another condition ki female to male then female then in this case is always the sex linked recessive character will be okay so now we we'll come on to the example hum kuch examples karke dekh le from the last few year question papers and from the ncert so very first from the question papers hum log discuss kar lete hain yahan pe very first condition here the male is affected theek hai in the next generation out of the three children the female is affected when and when this female is mating then the next generation the male is affected somehow kahin na kahin ye hamari tricks ko show kar raha hai the criss cross in identity jahan pe humne kaha tha male female male aur female male female so yahan pe hame dikhe to male female then अगेन मेल तो जब ये शो कर रहा है मेल देन फीमेल देन मेल तो अल्टीमेटली वट टाइप ऑफ कैरेक्टर इट इज वट टाइप ऑफ पीडिंग रिचार्ज इट इज इंडिकेटिंग दैट इट इज अ सेक्स लिंक रेसेसिव कैरेक्टर तो हम लोग यहां पर लिख लें इट इज सेक्स लिंक रेसेसिव कैरेक्टर विल कम टू द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल तो विच इज गिवेन इन द एनसीआर टी द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डायग्राम और एग्जाम्पल वी कैन से फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू यू शुड प्लीज बी केयरफुल विद दीज टू द नेक्स्ट टू एग्जाम्पल्स बोथ आर गिवन इन द एनसीआर टी द वेरी फर्स्ट वी कैन से तो यहाँ पे देखें हम तो वन ऑफ द पेरेंट इज अफेक्टेड वन इन द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन हम लोग देखें द मेल इज वन ऑफ द मेल इज अफेक्टेड एंड वन ऑफ द फीमेल आउट ऑफ द फोर टू चाइल्ड आर अफेक्टेड डेफिनेटली ठीक है With this somehow कहीं ना कहीं हमारे ट्रिक से काम नहीं कर रहा सो वी विल कम टू द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी की विल गो ऑलवेज विद द वेरी फर्स्ट जनरेशन इन एनी लेवल एट एनी लेवल वी कैन गो थ्रू विद दैट यहाँ पे हम लोग देखें तो वन ऑफ द टू पेरेंट इज अफेक्टेड वन एंड इन द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन ओनली फीमेल चाइल्ड इज अफेक्टेड विल कम ऑन टू थर्ड ट्रिक जहां पे हमने पढ़ा कि फ्रॉम सिंगल पेरेंट दैट मीन आउट ऑफ द टू किसी एक पेरेंट से Only female child is affected, then that character will be dominant. So, यहाँ पे देखें, out of the two parent, the female child is affected. So that means show कि कहीं ना कहीं वो dominant character है. So we'll just try it over here. Dominant. अब ना, whether it will be autosomal or sex linked. तो उसके लिए हम लोग find out कर लें. कि सेक्स लिंक के लिए जब हम लोग वर्कआउट करेंगे सो वील नेवर फाइंड आउट दिस टाइप ऑफ द क्रॉसिंग्स व्हेन यू वर्कआउट की क्रॉसिंग्स किस तरीके से होंगी सेक्स लिंक पे आप लोग वर्कआउट करेंगे देन यू विल फाइंड आउट कि दिस चार्ट वी विल नेवर गेट सो अल्टीमेटली इट इज एन ऑटोसोमल सो इट इज एन ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेंट कैरेक्टर एंड द नेम इज ऑल्सो गिवन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डिजीज दैट इज myotonic dystrophy myotonic dystrophy the common example the very next we can go through with this another example which is given in the ncert we can go through with this so both the parents are unaffected and come on to the next generation to the child is affected one over here in this case also both the parents are unaffected in the next generation whereas the child is affected hum hamari first trick pe aa jaye humne padha when both the parents are unaffected then when both the parents are unaffected but the child is affected so that in that case the mother will be the carrier whereas the trait will be the recessive one to likh le hum log yahan par that it is a recessive character 
बट रेसेसिव है तो वेदर इट विल बी ऑटोसोमल और सेक्स लिंक वो हमें फाइंड आउट करना है तो हमने पढ़ा था फॉर द सेक्स लिंक दैट व्हेन इट विल बी द सेक्स लिंक रेसेसिव देन दे शुड शो क्रिस क्रॉस इनहेरिटेंस जो कि हमने इस एग्जांपल में किया ऐसा क्रिस क्रॉस इनहेरिटेंस हमें यहां पे नहीं देखने को मिल रहा सो अल्टीमेटली व्हेन दिस इज नॉट शोइंग द क्रिस क्रॉस इनहेरिटेंस सो इट विल आल्सो बी अ ऑटोसोमल so it is an autosomal recessive and the name for this disease is given sickle cell anemia okay so we can again go through with the examples hum logo ne fir se examples ki we just go through with the tricks ke hum yahan pe hum logo ne padha and the male the female and the male so when is showing the criss cross then ultimately it is a sex linked recessive the next hum logo ne padha yahan par ki female is showing whereas the one of the parent is showing the character the another next generation to hum logo ne isko consider karke we can find out that whether it will be the autosomal dominant and the disease is myotonic dystrophy in the next generation when we talk about so the both the parents are unaffected the child is affected one so ultimately it is a recessive one and it will be a autosomal recessive and the name for the disease is sickle cell anemia so again we just go through hum logo ne padha symbols what the symbols are which we can use for indicating the male the female and the specified sex the mating between them the affected one and the consanguineous mating also we studied then the tricks hum logo ne padhi when both the parents are unaffected then in that case when tra- characters are transferred from male to male when the characters are transferred only in the females are affected and when they are showing the criss cross on that basis we discussed some examples also i hope you understand this video very well so please do hit like button and subscribe my channel too thank you